Begin at 10 with shocking new revelations in the case of a missing ASU professor. A landfill search going on right now for his body. And tonight, detectives tell ABC 15 they think they know who killed him. Zach Crenshaw breaking the exclusive new information. He's live outside the ASU Engineering Building in Tempe. And Zach, that is where this professor taught students for the past 15 years. Yeah, and accomplished so much research as an associate dean. Professor Che spent his career answering complex questions, and now so many surround his death. Like, how did this happen? Who did it? And why? Detectives believe they have answers to those questions, but they must first answer where. Where is Dr. Che's body? That mystery is why detectives have spent the past few weeks combing through this landfill in surprise. MCSO says strong evidence led homicide detectives here on March 29th, just four days after their investigation began. Sources tell me that evidence definitively points to a suspect or suspects, but there hasn't been an arrest yet because detectives need to find Jun Suk Che's body first. They're just digging around spots where they think it, the professor is. That's a landfill employee who asked to remain anonymous. He's watched as crews have methodically searched for weeks and believes the body they got transported. He also says detectives must have an idea of where in the valley the body came from and on what day based on their targeted searching. So each truck is tracked on the dumpings and everything they put it in a log. While family and friends want justice, it won't bring the professor back. An ASU coworker telling me he was an incredibly kind man, a brilliant mind, and will be missed by everyone he knew. Now, MCSO not releasing much new information today because they tell me they do not want to jeopardize this ongoing investigation in case. In the meantime, I heard from a close friend of Professor Che and his entire family. He actually reported the professor missing back in March. He told me he didn't want to go on camera today and said, quote, what's happened cannot be undone. Live in Tempe tonight, Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.